Columbia College returns to in-person learning tomorrow after spending months mostly virtual. ABC 17's Layla Mitchell is live from the college with more on what school will look like when students and staff return. And Layla, school officials hope that everyone will take the new mitigation efforts seriously. Yes, Chanel. So school officials I spoke to today told me after its COVID-19 task force reviewed the case data, they thought now is a good time to bring students back. Of course, they say they will continue to review the data and make any changes if necessary. On Monday, Columbia College students and faculty will return to campus buildings after spending months partially virtual due to a COVID surge in the spring. We are really looking forward to having our campus community back. School officials said its COVID-19 task force felt like it was important to get back to in-person learning. In-person learning is the best and most effective way of learning for our students, our faculty, staff, from an interaction standpoint, from a mental health standpoint. Everyone who enters school buildings are asked to wear masks and socially distance when possible. This is really going to be about personal responsibility from a masking standpoint to make sure that we're very diligent about wearing masks, diligent about social distancing, following the guidelines that we've put in place. Other local colleges are also requiring COVID mitigation strategies. Westminster College requires masks in all campus buildings. Stevens College and Lincoln University require masks in classroom spaces only. The University of Missouri does not require masks and has in-person learning. Its COVID-19 dashboard is temporarily paused as the Columbia Boone County Health Department updated changes to how it reports its data. And Flurry told me he wants to reiterate that the vaccine does work and they want all students and staff to get vaccinated and boosted if possible. The college does plan to hold a booster clinic at some point, but a date has not yet been released. Reporting live in Columbia, Layla Mitchell, ABC 17 News. Okay, thank you, Layla. The campus will only host student-focused events like sports and campus tours through the end of February. All external events will be canceled or postponed. 